Sleek really is a, a bit of a weird ship. I mean, it's it's so narrow. It's so narrow. Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to more Ultimate Abnormal Dreadnoughts. Because I'm once again tinkering with the save files, and when you do that, you can create some really curious ships. For this one, I have a very, very sleek battlecruiser. I tried making very sleek battleships, but the battleships are a bit limited in how sleek you can make them simply by having a main tower. The main tower, especially for the Brits, the Germans, the Americans, they're just too wide. But if you take an Italian battlecruiser, you can actually come up with a fairly nice design. And this is it. This is the Sleek. Um, very creative name, yes, you're welcome. Um, it has minus 40% beam, which is about as low as I can get it. I'm not sure exactly how the crew is going to be able to manage <laughs> passing here. Uh, let's hope that they have at least some door, otherwise getting to the bow of the ship is going to be almost impossible. Now, the Sleek, for a battlecruiser, um, displaces very little. Because normally a battlecruiser has 45,000 tons of displacement. That is, if you pick the fast battleship. Yes, that is a battlecruiser. It goes up to 75,000 tons, but this guy does not. This guy only displaces 31,000 tons. Which puts it closer, in, an, in a sense, to um, the bigger heavy cruisers. Now, these guys are going to have to make do with cramped quarters. Because they really don't have a lot of space on this ship. But that means that you only need a crew complement of 338. Um, if I make a new, let's say, somewhat more standard design of a battle cruiser, you're probably going to need several hundred more people. Um, the amount of crew that you need for, let's say, a somewhat average battle cruiser, I think, is 12 to 1500. So if you're strapped for crew and you still want a battle cruiser that's capable of doing a fair amount of damage, then the sleek might be the thing that you want to get to. Yeah, you can see 1700, sorry, 1400, 1200, it just keeps going back and forth. Um, this sleek ship is armed with, in good Italian fashion, semi armor piercing shells. I'm gonna move this secondary turret slightly farther back so it has a better turning circle. There you go. Semi armor piercing shells. They are capable of um, always doing quite a bit of damage because their chance to ricochet or the ricochet angle is so much less. These things, semi-AP shells, have minus, sorry, plus 80% maximum AP shell ricochet angle, which is a fancy word for saying the chance that you ricochet off of a hull is very low. And that means you'll always do some damage. I have to... Try and still get as much pen as possible, which, believe it for believe it or not, but for an 18-inch gun is a bit challenging. Uh, because this thing fires light shells. Why lights? Well, the light shells have even less of an AP shell ricochet chance. So I'm trying to get as much um, ricochet angle reduction as possible to make these 18-inch guns work. But they only got two. I don't have any kind of displacement for secondary guns, so these guns are going to have to do all the work. Um, yeah, there's not that much I can do to offset the weight offset problem. Well, I suppose I could add a bit more stern belts. No, not really. 1%. Ah, good enough. Good enough. Now, the ship has auto-loading 18-inch turrets, which, believe it or not, reload in 19 seconds. That is extremely quick. Normally, if you have, let's say, a more reasonable armament of 15-inch triple barrel, they also reload in 19 seconds. But they don't do nearly as much damage at 615 AP, 593 HE. These guns do 1600 AP, 1585 HE. Now, we're going to put these up to a couple of the French battlecruisers uh, generated by the AI to see how well this thing actually holds up. Because I am curious to see whether this will actually perform. First round. The Sleek against a French battlecruiser. What do we got here? This guy is um, packing a mere six 12-inch guns. It has a whole lot of 4-inch guns, 30 of them. 
couple of eights, as you can see down there on the back and the sides are sixes, I think. No, those are the fives, five inch guns. Also comes with equipped with torpedoes, one funnel, and well, these six guns, 12 inchers, they might not damage the sleek that much. My accuracy is already quite good at 20%. I'm gonna reduce speed to full, thereby giving them even more of an accuracy bonus. And let's see if, even with an armored target or an angled target like this, I can actually do some damage. Sleek really is a, a bit of a weird ship. I mean, it's... It's so narrow. It's so narrow. The thing is, however, the Sleek um, has this minus 40% beam. And normally that would give you a firing platform that is rather unstable. But it seems that the devs have capped it at minus... I think standard minus 15 is what you can put the beam to. And that means that whether you have it at uh, minus 5 or minus 50, oh, sorry, uh, minus 15 or minus 40, like I have it, you still more or less get the same type of um, penalties and bonuses. It's not suddenly giving you, for example, uh, a modifier of 50, 60, 70%. Look at that. Whoa! This thing is heavily angled. This is about, relative to my ship, 35 to 45 degrees. And yet, I penned them right on their stern. Aft belt pen for 564 damage, which is very much in line with what this thing can do. Of course, the enemy ship has resistance, and that means the chance to pen or the, the damage that you do is a bit less. Now, what's the chance that they damage me? <laughs> Not that good. Unless they fire HE, of course. I suppose the ship is a bit cheaper. Partial pen, again. Now, in case I don't actually use semi-armor piercing to pen this thing, I can also use high explosive. And sadly, I suspect that high explosive will do more damage. Ah, 152. It's close to the amount of semi-armor piercing shell that you do. It's close, but... I really don't want HE to do better. I really don't. 56. Okay. Back to armor piercing, or rather semi-armor piercing. At this point, the secondaries also start to pitch in. There you go. Partial pen flooding. Let's turn away from the target. Make sure that I get both guns firing and that I am trying to get away from those secondaries. Penetration. Partial pen. Rudder damaged and flooding on my ship. Penetration, rudder damaged, flooding. Partial pen, fire set. Partial pen. This thing is trying to get away, but is still getting penned by these very high-end semi-armor piercing shells. I hope I can identify it before it dies, so I can see what sort of ricochet angle it has. I'm thinking they're about 50, 60 degrees now. Still a pen. They're about 11 clicks out. Um, oh, jeez, I have almost no shells. Whoops. Okay. We're going to have to adjust that. Um, these things, let's say about 12 clicks out. I can pen with AP 18 inches of armor. And that is discounting the angle. That is if you're firing at a flat surface. But semi-armor piercing makes that a whole lot different. Boom. Pen. 95. 97. 98. Now they're turning. Now they're presenting a flat target, which is even worse. Ricochet angle, low. It's only 12 degrees, and it's getting progressively better. Now you can see the pen chance is 16%. But I suspect that if I hit them, I'm going to see something quite different. Their price for the St. Charles might be a lot lower. 357 million. Actually, it's quite high. Why is that? Why are you running such an expensive ship? Diesels is not that expensive. Aux 4 makes it expensive. Anti-Torp 5? Wow. Generation 3 radar. Sonar 3. I don't have all these gimmicks. I don't have sonar. I get Generation 2 radar. 
Uh, I have no anti-torpedo blister at all, which I'm about to encounter the results of. Because this is going to have to speed up pretty quick. Which, thanks to gas turbines, I might just get away with. Yep. Okay, what are we looking at? 13 clicks out, 16% chance to pen. Boom, full pen. Four belt. Then again, their four belt is probably not nearly as good as it needs to be. So I have that 12.5 kilometer range, so 18 inches of armor pen, that is. Their four belt is only six. Plus 112%, so about 13 ish. Another full pen. This thing is no joke. Sadly, however, it is out of uh, semi armor piercing. It is out of semi armor piercing. I might have to mitigate slash um, adjust the amount of ammunition that I carry. How many bulkheads you got? Standard. Yep, she's dead. That took me less than a quarter of an hour. Wow. Okay, nice. First round goes to the sleek. 23 crew members lost. For that ship, that's still quite a few. Yeah. Um, this is, by the way, a trick that I learned from a subscriber in a comment. If you have the battle results screen and you want to go back, press Control shift alt z and that uh, hides the HUD. And you can go back to your battle. So you can actually see the ship sinking as opposed to the battle immediately ending by pushing you to the results screen. So that's Control shift alt z Now... Let's do that again, shall we? Make sure that I have a bit more of an increased AP rounds. Um, I guess I cannot carry increased without sacrificing something. That's barely adding up. That's 30 tons. Change the steering. No, I need to save on something else. I can make it 35 knots. And then maybe take off some armor, although I really don't enjoy doing that. There. Okay, uh, let's do it again. Different ship design for the French. Let's see what they come up with now, and let's see if I can once again blow it up with these two 18-inch guns. Round two. Fight. The Sleek. Fire armor piercing. We have 203 shells of armor piercing and 67 of high explosive. Should be fine. Slow down to full speed. And let's have a look at the French battle cruiser. Ooh, you must have quite, quite a lot of pitch. Because these turrets are all on barbettes, except for the stern one. And it's a bit of a curious ship. It has six 14-inch guns, a double 8-inch, 28 fours, 32s, sorry, 52-inch guns. 50? Yeah, if you put it like that, I guess you do have 50. Okay, and um, 15 3-inch guns. So, get a destroyer close to this thing, and you're most likely going to have a hell of a problem. She's presenting a nice flat target, but sadly, my accuracy is not quite dialed in yet. Wow, that turning circle is fantastic on this ship. Normally, you go, don't get anything near, anything near 341 on the battlecruiser. Because those ships are pretty long and don't turn very well. 34% chance to hit. I'll take it. Let's stay more or less angled. There we go. Partial pen. I'm going to get full pens. What's the range? What are we looking at? 13 clicks. So I can do about 18.3 to 16.6. I just hope that my accuracy is better than theirs. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Right through the main deck with a partial pen, but it knocked out an engine. Nice. Very nice. Oh, hold on. Actually, no. That shell was... Or that damage to the engine was caused by something else. Partial pen. Main belt. These 18-inch semi-armor piercing shells are no joke. Partial pen. I think we're going to fire some high explosive now. Destroyed. Secondary gun. Well, they got no shortage of those, and 2-inch guns are generally very poorly protected. No, that was a four, I think. Sleek has taken some damage, but she's mostly okay. We can keep up this fight for a while. Okay, so high explosive doesn't do as well as I hoped. Not terrible, though. 
Wow. <laughs> this does so much damage. I really want them to nerf HE a bit, because it's getting too easy to just build HE spammers. And as far as I'm concerned, HE spammers are a bit boring. Yes, they work fantastically well, as you might have seen from my video from yesterday. They work very, very well. Even a 9-inch just HE spammer battleship, you burn enemy down very, very quickly, but it's not really enjoyable. It, it, it involves absolutely no skill. No, um, I'm going to switch ammunition type now. That's better. Right on the stern. Flooding. The ship's almost destroyed. I think we might identify it just before it sinks. There goes more flooding. 97% ID, 98, 99, 100. The Montcalm. Uh, about the same price, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty close. A few bulkheads, not a good idea. And my chance to pen, 19%. Average ricochet chance, but I'm still penning it. Semi-armor piercing. Uh, so I think so far the sleek can do... Well, she could probably win this. Two for two. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to make it a bit more difficult. I'm going to design a battle cruiser for the French myself. Because the French are... Well, the AI is not great at designing a battle cruiser. So, let's get to work. Uh, let's make it an enhanced tower. A secondary tower light is fine. Oh, and a Generation 2 radar, stereoscopic rangefinder, no acoustics, that's not really required. Citadel or nothing, double anti-flood, maximum bulkheads, yes. 33 knots is fine, full veteran crew, air turbines with forced boilers, oil, let's see. Electro hydro steering 1, shaft 3, anti-torp 1, double hull bottom, reinforced bulkheads, group 4. As for the guns, what are we going to do with the guns? What are we going to do with the guns? You don't have that much room on this hull. I'm going to keep it fairly comparable in price to my battle cruiser, so I'm not going to make it extremely overpowered, which you can easily do. So let's reduce displacement. Let's also give this thing 18-inch guns. But maybe just, like... That fits? So there, I learned. Okay. Um, <laughs> that fits. Fine. We'll, we'll go with that. If it fits... What was the saying again? If it sits, or if it... Uh, if it fits, I sits, I think. We're probably going to have to shift... This further forward. This further forward. Forward. Yeah, not too bad. Firing angle on this thing is a bit limited. Four weight offset, 2417.4. Point 0.4. Point 0.1. Sold. Standard bets. Ultra loaders as well. They don't have to turn as quickly. Uh, I'm going to give them capped ballistics with TNT 3. Core died. No, 2 powder 3. Uh, let's give them heavy shells, standard mixture, and maybe a bit more armor. I do like the turrets to survive on my battleships, generally. Four in structural, maybe a bit more four, uh, four belt, a bit more aft belt, something like that. Deck, I do like rounded up numbers. Whoops. I also like my weight offset to be not a problem. 14.5 is fine. More barbettes? More barbettes. Here's an auxiliary engine for you. The offset is now completely mitigated. Some guns have a poor field of fire. That yeah, must be that one. Actually, I'm not sure if that will turn. I'm not sure if that will turn. We're going to have to test that. Uh, if you put it here, I'm sure it will turn, but the aft weight offset is going to be... A well, it's not a disaster yet, but the pitch is a problem. The pitch is challenging on this ship. And adding more stuff to the four weight or to the, the four belt is not really gonna help it. The problem is 
if you want to get these guns a good firing arc, you're going to have to put them out more and more, which means the ship's going to be pitching, so just doing this constantly, which makes it harder to get good accuracy. Uh, it's only minus 7.5%, though. It's not terrible. Let's reduce some of the aft belts, improve some of the fore belts to get that offset gone. Yeah, this is fine. Maybe put a bit more on the conning tower to finish it off. There you go. All right, done. Saint Louis. Here we go. Fight me. The Sleek, once again, firing armor piercing, range 16 kilometers out. She has twice the firepower that I have. That is, when it comes to the amount of barrels. She might not really have uh, the strategy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm trying to hit this and my shells land there. That's a kilometer out. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Partial pen. With this thing, though, it might be a little too heavily armored. And I don't think I can risk too much opening up. Because I made this thing substantially better than what the AI has been throwing at me so far. So I gotta be a bit careful. 30% chance to hit. Very nice. Parcel pen. Fire. What can we do with AP? Because we're getting about 50, 55 damage, 67, 102. Fire armor piercing. Or semi armor piercing, effectively. 48. Surely you can do better. Surely you can do better. Yes, that's more like it. 345. She's coming in at a fairly shallow angle, though. My angle to her is better. Let's see. Can I see what your pen chance is? 63%. That's no joke. I'm going to angle a bit more. But that means I'm getting closer to the target, which is not necessarily desirable. Uh, turn. Whoa, another flooding hit? Full pen? I need to start building semi armor piercing battleships. Or something to that effect. Because these are hilarious. These guns are so good. Well, not, not necessarily the guns, but the shells. Boom. Partial pen. You can already see them turning away. And they have hit me, but it ricocheted. Partial pen. Ricochet. Partial pen fire damage. Now she's very heavily angled. Okay, she it is. Go on. She's probably down to, what, half? 50, 55% structural? That's it, I think. Not great. <laughs> oh, you're opening up again. You're a mistake. That's gonna hurt. Oh, it hurt me, actually. Uh, that was 413 damage as she went right through the main belt armor. Yeah, that was bound to happen at some point. And she just did it again, knocking out an engine, a rudder, and causing some fire. That one fortunately ricocheted. But I'm kind of stuck in a turn. There we go, she's down to 41%. And I'm down to effectively one gun. Is the bow turret is out of action. Now, this thing has less draft than normal. And I'm seeing some flooding on the stern. Like the rudder compartment. But beyond that, I don't see flooding. But apparently the ship is losing, or has lost, buoyancy. 19% of it, in fact. Yes, bow turret's engaging again. Because of my damage, I'm less of a stable firing platform by 22%. But so is she. She's down to 26. 
Her damage and stability is 50%, making her accuracy a mere 13% and mine 35. So even though she has more guns, it's not necessarily going to save her. And again, this is the <clears throat> the major difference between having a 45,000 ton ship or something 31,000 tons. Uh, my ship is both cheaper and crewed by about a third of her number. 338 versus 996, was it? 986. 36. She's going to be an easier target. My damage and stability seems to be getting worked at. Because it's dropping. 21% and holding. St. Louis is just getting picked apart. Slowly. Well, relatively slowly. But definitely getting picked apart. Ricochet angle. 50 degrees. Chance to pen. 9%. That's going to fly right over the St. Louis. I have lost quite a bit of buoyancy and I'm still flooding. No, it got fixed now. Ooh. When she actually connects a shell, it hurts like hell. 500 damage, 238. The Saint Louis might be damaged, but she's not out. The Sleek can still lose this. Go on. I need a couple more hits. But because I've been dancing around so much, my accuracy is right down the toilet. There you go, 38%. Oh, but I'm stuck in a turn and probably broadside. No, not fully. 11 clicks out. Come on, finish it. Before she finishes you. That's more like it. 336. No, 363. And the partial for 120. She's fighting back. Dealing 120 points. No, sorry, that was my shell. 120 points right through the main deck. At this range? Oh, okay. The AP shells are relatively slow at 717 meters per second. So, they're taking a more gentle, let's say, uh, top-down angle. They're not flying fully flat like a railgun. Why are we not hitting that? Yes. Right on the stern. She can probably still pen the nose of this ship. Yeah, quite well. If she can hit it. Struggling with that. She's down to 7%. Sleek should have this. But it's not a guarantee yet. And I'm still listing to starboard quite a bit. My damage and stability is about 42.7%. But theirs is probably... Oh, I think it tops out about 50. Yeah, damage and stability 50%. Target ship size plus 231%. What's your modifier then? 87.9. Yeah, it's a relatively smaller target. Partial pen. She's down to 4%. Ricochet. There you go. Full pen. Right on the stern. Aft belt penned. She's launching lifeboats, but I'm not seeing survivors. So that is 3 for 3 for the sleek. I really like this design. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, it's unorthodox. It's small. It's pretty difficult to hit. It's not terribly expensive at 203 million. Um, and the only way that I could actually get up to this speed is by using gas turbines. If you want to go something cheaper, you're going to have to use, uh, for example, force turbines. Oh, sorry, a gas turbine. Uh, no, double geared steam turbines. You can drop the price lower to the, about that. Diesels, 216. You need an upgraded engine, otherwise you're not going to be able to get the uh, engine to fit on the ship. Well, this small, essentially. So that's the Sleek. Really nice ship. Um, I still enjoy tinkering with these mechanics. You can do the same. Linked down below in the description is a video explaining how that works. And if you have any further challenges, designs, uh, weird stuff that you want me to build, by all means, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for the next.